As web creators, we're always looking for ways to make our website stand out. But also, we want to do that rather quickly. Elementor 3.5 packs a ton of features that enable you to do both. Let me jump right in and show you what I mean. Starting on the workflow front, first, we have Mark Widgets as favorites. So you can personalize your editor panel by pinning your favorites and most used widgets to the dedicated favorite section, making it a lot easier to access them while building your page. Next, there's multi-select, and as it sounds, enables you to select and impact several elements at once with command on Mac or control on PC. You can choose to delete them or copy the style from one widget to a few others in just a few clicks, really reducing the amount of repetitive actions. Another significant time-saving feature is drag from desktop. You can drag media and template files directly to the editor. All right, these are pretty cool updates, but we're not done yet. On to the design updates, starting with Transform. This feature lets you achieve all of the capabilities of CSS Transform without writing a single line of code. You can rotate, skew, offset, scale, and flip elements in the natural state, or animate elements with Transform on Hover. <laughs> Whoa, I'm a bit dizzy. You think that's cool? You should try using Transform and motion effects together. Maybe we should try creating a tutorial on that. What do you think? Let's do it, man. Still on the design front, we have two new style controls. Text stroke, so you can add an outline to headings, really making them stand out. And word spacing. This one works similar to the letter spacing control, so you can optimize your user's reading experience. As always, we recommend checking out the tutorials accompanying this release. I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments and see how you implement these new features. And most of all, enjoy being creative. This is Zip signing off. Ciao for now.